Hi everybody, this is Bi Alright, today I'm just going to do a short video um, of TNAPS um, to how you can actually upgrade your MSI package that you actually roll out um, to your, whether your view desktop pools or your desktop or your individual desktop which I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to go through an AD because I'm doing this over a workstation. So here, um, I'm just going to show you my add and remove program here. You can see that I have nothing else other than my TNAPS um, and VMware tools and other dis uh, distributables. Alright, here I'm going to close it. So I have no Firefox. You can actually see that uh, my menu is pretty clean. Alright, this is a very clean Windows. Um, and here I have Firefox 8.0, which I already uh, run the polls. The pre and post scan, and um, these are the binaries that have really been picked up. And in the package uh, dot INNI here, uh, what I have posted in my blog uh, referring to the VMware post is that uh, you can actually configure the MSI package versions. So, where do we go to? All right, actually, it's right at the top MSI parameters. And here you will see. Uh, the MSI product version 1.0 the MSI upgrade code it has to be the same in order to do a replacement and when the version is higher you will actually do the replacement alright uh, MSI product code um, I didn't I masked this out you can actually include it but it's not necessary it will still work okay first uh, I'm going to edit this I'm just going to do a normal install Alright, by building this, so let me just clean up whatever I've done previously. Let's do a new build. So this is very useful. In fact, I'm intending to do a clean desktop with all these MSI packages instead of doing a uh, full install, which uh, makes a Windows cleaner as well as um, it's Leaner as well, it doesn't have to be really that big. Okay, it's been done. Alright, so let me just run my MSI package. Okay, during my pre and post scan, what I did is that I actually checked MSI package. So you can actually see that my MSI package is here. And uh, this is a full MSI package, uh, there's no streaming done. Um, you can actually enable MSI streaming. I will not cover this, but you can actually refer to the package.nni uh, variable reference guide, which is uh, available in the TNAP 4.7, which was just released last week. Okay, so my Firefox is now installed. And we can just test this out. Um, Oops, uh, okay, I'm doing an NAT, so it's trying to suspect that I have um, duplication. Okay, so you can see here, I have no flash installed, it's a very clean uh, Firefox. Okay, so now what I can do now is that if that's say I did some amendments and uh, or this is actually perhaps imagine this is Firefox 8.0.1 and um, my product code uh, is just one level I do not have to put it as 2.0 I can even just leave it as 1.1 but the important things is the upgrade code has to be the same in order for the replacement so let's just save this um, let's do a new build let's delete this Okay, now let me install. It should uninstall the previous one and replace it with this one. Mm. 
And yes, it just did that. You can see that the icon has went missing and the new one is out. So there's not going to much be a difference. The only difference you might want to see here is perhaps the version and it has state 1.1 in this case. This is just the product name, um, you can leave it unchanged, there's no issue with that. Alright, because um, you can actually just change it down here. Uh, the MSI package name and this is the application name where you get it. And where is this installed? This is actually uh, installed in the C drive. So let's just bounce this to C drive. And yes. Okay, so we're here, Mozilla 8.0, and you just see the Firefox. It will be just directly inside the fold. Um, the MSI install directory and the exe file that you have chosen as the uh, start point or whatever point you call it um, for the CNET when they are building it. So this is where you will place the exe here uh, for those that you place it. If this is a Microsoft Office, you will have multiple exe in here. Okay, uh, I will not be showing you how to do, um, I will be showing you uh, rather uh, in the next uh, posting on how you can actually do a app link via your MSI package say example your flash and your java runtime all being pushed out and stored onto the desktop okay for the time being I'll see you again and have a nice day